Did somebody really run in the grass like that? Does that just happen? Who, who ran in my grass? That's expensive grass. Breath. been in South Africa. One, getting my plane built. I didn't get that. I, I'm not I talking to you, Siri. <laughs> Siri, what are you talking? New iPhone's pretty dope. If you don't have it, go get it. But um, yeah, so I've been in South Africa for the last month and the only way I can be is like seeing what's going on with the house is just watching the camera, one of the security cameras we have, but it's not the same. So I want to show you guys an update. I'm seeing it for the first time in a month as you've seen it. So let's go check it out. Uh, behind me, let's see here, can you see this? Anyways, the guys are filling up the water tank. So there's a water tank because we're doing hydro seeding. You see how the grass is growing behind me? I love that thing, the grass is growing. Hydro seeding is the way to go. Um, and I'm gonna tell you how I hacked the hydro seeding situation. What I did was I went out and bought the hydro seeder knowing that I can use it for cheaper than somebody to come out and spray for so much money. And um, I'm just gonna sell it when I'm done or probably just like, I don't know, like probably lease it out when I'm done. I don't know, something. But I know I can sell it. So anyways, I'm in the garage. You guys know the garage is like super sized. It's, it's pretty big. Over there is where the two panels, and I think I'm getting 400 amp or so coming in. And then also this corner is where all the smart data for the house is gonna be. So this, this thing is gonna be boxed off right here. There's gonna be a, uh, you call it like a rack storage rack network, rack network rack something like that and all the smart wires are going to lead back to that but let's uh let's go look around i know i had to do some changes here especially to the master bed bathroom because one i wanted to use i wanted to get a steamer i've always wanted like a steamer in my bathroom you know just like a full-blown steamer where you can you know steam so you know, the shower originally was uh, 14 feet from one end to the other, seven feet wide. And I wanted this steamer unit, because remember, this, this is gonna be a complete new build with like a smart home. But the shower was too big to get one of those steamers and I had to move over to the commercial version of the steamer. But with the commercial version of the steamer, you don't get to have those fancy controls inside the shower. It's like if you just went to like the YMCA and used a steamer. So we shortened the shower by putting a glass partition here. It was all the way open and the tub was in it. And now the tub is gonna be on the other side of glass partition, making the shower portion a little bit smaller. Sounds weird and crazy, but Victor came up with the idea. I actually like the idea. And what this steamer situation is, is it's like, um, they call it like a complete spa therapy. So the shower rain head has like these mystical colors. The rain head is above. The entire thing will like, I don't know, steam up and I don't know. I had it at an Airbnb one time, a long time ago in LA and I just fell in love with it. So I decided to put it in my house. Um, let's go this way. So I don't know if you can see, but if you look up, there is um, all the can lights are going in. So that's pretty cool. There's lights everywhere. And uh, I'm just gonna be able to say, hey, Josh, which I'm using this, no, not you, Josh, the other, the, see, this is a problem. So check this out. <laughs> you can have a smart home, but you can't so, have a smart friend. <laughs> so, so the smart home that I'm building <laughs> is from this thing called josh.io controls it. So typically most people will use Alexa or what's another one? Alexa, Siri, Siri, Google Assistant. Google, yeah, Google. I think Google is open. Yeah. So the thing is, those things are not secure. This thing called josh.ai, io, one of those things, it's, I'll, I'll post a link. Um, it's a, it's a more secure smart house. Well, if you guys know Josh, Josh was my flight instructor. Josh over here and I just said Josh and he answered and I think that's gonna be a common thing in the house when I say hey Josh turn on the light he's gonna say which one and I'm not even talking to him but anyways so Josh.io or Josh.ai whatever it is I think it's IO 
is, is like a smart home technology that is more secure than actual, oh my God, who ran in the grass like that? Did somebody really run in the grass like that? Does that just happen? Who, who ran in my grass? That's expensive grass. Breath. Okay. So anyways, we're going with a, uh, a ventless fireplace. TVs everywhere. Now kind of let me explain to you how this smart home technology goes. So every single wire to this house, light switch, internet, cable, TV, all that stuff is gonna run back to one main centralized part of the house. So every TV gets three Cat6 cables. One for the TV itself, one for any smart device that may be with it, and an extra one behind the TV just in case you may need it. So when you're building a smart house, you wanna make sure that every single thing runs on wired as much as possible, and you use the wireless in your house and the wireless bandwidth for whatever else it's gonna be wireless. But you don't want your house to be running like, your TV, like the TV or your smart TV device to be running on actual wireless when you can just wire it. So while the house is wide open, we're wiring every single one. Well, let me tell you something. I spent $11,300 on just cables to run everywhere, but it's gonna be worth it at the end. Also, we have I believe 36 speakers in the house, uh, in rooms, uh, everywhere. And I went with upstairs in the media room, which I'm just only gonna dub it the media room, which is gonna have this 4K projection hole. I just, I'm not even really into movies, but I think it'd be a cool thing. And as a real estate investor, I gotta believe that one day I'm probably gonna sell this house. Um, so I wanna put some cool stuff in it. So speakers everywhere in the house, can lights everywhere in the house. Lights controlled by voice, faucet controlled by voice, temperatures controlled by voice. You gotta have the tablets on the wall too. Like yeah, so every room has its own individual tablet. So as you walk into the room, it's gonna have its own tablet, can control every function from the stereo, the speakers, the lights, the temperature, is all gonna be controlled on a tablet, seven inch tablet. We're gonna be using Control 4 as our mainframe for the house. Upstairs, it's not surround sound. What is it called? Not 5.1. Dol what is it? Dolby Atmos. Dolby Atmos is what we it's went like with. Atmosphere. atmosphere. And it's supposed to be better than like 5.1, blah, it's blah, a, blah. It's technically a 13.2. It's a 13.2. It has upwards firing roof speed. Yeah, so I'm taking you upstairs now. And the cool thing is that right now, upstairs is only supposed to be for this media room which there's gonna be a giant screen that drops down there. Projection system is gonna be in the roof here. And it's gonna, that window's gonna have a certain blackout feature on it. Oh. Um, yeah, so that window is gonna have a button where that blacks out the entire window. What is it, like an electronic tent? Yeah, and this is gonna black out this window. And then the rest of upstairs is really sealed off. Not gonna use it as of now, it may expand it later. But then there's, I forget, there's so many speakers in this roof, it's crazy, that are gonna control this. Four subwoofers in this room, and it's not like huge. Four subwoofers in this room that's gonna give you that, what you're is You're gonna it? feel like you're there. Yeah, you're gonna feel like you're there in this, so I'm you're excited. Football, you'll feel the hit. Yeah, you're gonna feel the hit. You know, I don't <laughs> watch sports, I may just turn on the game. And there's a bathroom up here. There's gonna be popcorn machine and all that stuff in that area. That'll be pretty cool. So let's talk more about the steamer. The steamer for the bathroom, the shower, actually lives above in the ceiling. You could put it up to 50 feet away. I think it's called a thermosol. And I'm saying all these things wrong. And they're not paying me to say it, so I can say it wrong. And if they want to pay me to say it, then I'll say it right. But in the meantime, I think it's thermosol. But there's a lot going on. Let me actually show you one thing I really love about this house. So I went with all black windows on the front and on the inside. Most of the time, black windows are just black on the outside and not on the inside. We decided to go with black on the inside. And these windows are oversized. Every single window is huge, huge. So huge, I can just step outside and check this out. Man, I love this. Let me see if you can see this back here. No, the wrong way. Anyways huge this is this part here is, let me see you're gonna be like in the pool this is the pool area right here I throw up some renderings of what the pool is gonna look like right now 
And then over in this area is going to be my outdoor kitchen, which I'm gonna have a pizza oven, I'm gonna have a smoker, I'm gonna have uh, a hibachi top, all out here with a bathroom. Um, can't really see behind me, but I'm telling you, are we getting better here? We go. No? Yeah, here we go. I don't know what I'm doing. Anyways, that's a quick update. You can see the shingles, one with the real nice double black architectural shingles. Um, I forget the name of them, but they're, they're like 3D looking. I don't know if you can really see it on camera. They look pretty awesome. Anyways, this is my first update back from South Africa. I'll keep you guys going. What I wanna do is I'm gonna be a part of the build when it comes to the smart home technology side. So I'm gonna be doing that with my electrician. I'm gonna be putting in the wires so I understand the system 100%. And then the barn, I just got word that the barn, the metal barn is gonna be delivered, um, I believe de late December. So instead of hiring somebody to put it together, my team and I are actually gonna take it and uh, put it together ourselves. So this is gonna be interesting to see this uh, barn be put together by us. But anyways, that's it's the update. Gonna it's not gonna fall down. That's my first update back from South Africa. Hope you guys enjoyed it. What I'll do on the next video is I'll actually turn the camera around and I'm gonna show you a lot more of the stuff and kind of go step by step. But there's not really much to show right now. What I really want you guys to see is when we start putting the smart things inside this house the wiring and why we do that. So um, other than that, I'm excited to show you more. Can't wait for the barn to come in, Just the riding arena, all these cool things. Um, but that's my update. I hope you guys enjoyed. Stay fly, you know what I say. Please like the video if you do, subscribe if you haven't, all that stuff. I love you guys. See you on the next video, peace. I'll see you too late to go around the whole house found the culprit. <laughs>